This is a quick video looking at changing project projections in QGIS. So by default, depending on uh, the data source you're using, QGIS will use a projection that it picks for you. And often this is less than optimal. So for example, we're looking at the United States right now. And this is from natural earth data. Natural Earth data tends to be in the projection 4326, which is um, kind of the standard latitude and longitude projection. And you'll see that um, the US doesn't quite look the way we expect it to. It looks a little flat and squished. Um, and usually what you want to do is pick a projection that suits your country or region well. In this case, a common projection to use for the, for the United States is Albers, um, and I'll show you how to pick that. So first, down in the bottom right of the QGIS window, you should see a button that says EPSG and then some number. Again, this depends on which projection your project is in, which depends on usually what projection your data was in when you pulled it into QGIS. So if I click that button, it will take me straight to the project properties and it will show me exactly which projection I'm using. And up in the top, I can filter for other projections. <clears throat> so I'm looking for Albers and You'll see there are two search results areas for QGIS when you're picking your projection. And the first one is your recently used ones. So apparently I haven't used Albers recently. So I'll want to look down here in the bottom. And you'll see there are a lot of projections that include the word Albers. In our case, we want to pick one that works well for the contiguous US. Uh, and that's going to be this one, it looks like. And you'll see in QGIS 3, when you pick a projection, it shows you the area of the world that it's well suited for. So in this case, it's showing us mostly the contiguous US. It, it looks like um, it's well suited for Canada and Mexico also, the way that it's drawn. Um, so I'm going to hit OK, and you'll see just how much the shape changes. And again, um, I didn't change the data here. I'm just changing some settings on the project. And again, if you look down in the bottom right, you'll see that the projection, the coordinate reference system, has changed. And if I click that again, I can come back here. I can look at my recently used projections and go back to 4326. Um, and when I use that, you'll see that my data, it's still there. It's still exactly what it was. Um, it just doesn't look quite the way you expect it to. So I'm going to go back to Albers and it looks a lot more the way we expect the contiguous US to look. So that's how you change your project's projection in QGIS. Um, there's another way of getting to that dialog if for whatever reason that button isn't working for you. It's under the project menu, under properties. And there are multiple tabs here. If you open it from that menu, it might start with the general tab. You just want to go down to CRS, which is short for coordinate reference system. Um, and you'll be able to get to the same settings there. Okay, hope that helps.